All right, what's up everyone, Duquesne23 here, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about UGC. Now, in case if you didn't know what that stands for, it's user-generated content, basically like Forge, Fortnite Creative, and so on and stuff like that. Uh, so, there are a couple games that just recently came out, uh, well, not came out, like trailers just came out, that kind of get me a little bit excited about the future of UGC, as well as, of course, Halo Infinite's Forge. Uh, the creative 2.0 that we don't really know much about that will be coming out in Fortnite. Uh, and then also other games like Forza Horizon 5 has, you know, an editor inside of it. I wish Far Cry would bring back their editor I, as it like as a separate game. That would be incredible if they bring back the Far Cry 5 editor. Uh, you know, or not Far Cry 5, but you know, Far Cry 6 or whatever. Uh, separately and just overhaul it and make it even better because Far Cry's editor was pretty much the most powerful editor on console and it was just incredible to be able to have you know like uh, you can just you can morph the terrain you know it has an awesome terrain editor place water down you know have AI have a uh, like a uh, vegetation painter uh, in Far Cry which was incredible so it randomly selects a type of tree uh, like a group of them and you could paint that tree over the landscape uh, so you could create forests super quickly and same thing you could do with grass and all that type of stuff uh, like I, I'm, I'm talking too much about Far Cry here I just want them to bring back their editor because it was incredible but some other ones that are, have been announced uh, is recreation which is from you know the like it, it's very similar to like burnout and everything but it's a fully custom created world like you can build your own tracks and you know stunts and races and stuff like that on there and it looks really cool y'all know how much i love racing and especially adding an editor into that is awesome i love the editors like the forza horizon 5 editor but it is very limiting right now uh, i i hope they expand upon it because there's definitely still a lot of issues with it um, but then you have other games I just thought of Splitgate they have they just brought in their own editor recently and they have been updating it and it's still very basic but you know of course it's a small team but they're in, you know improving it pretty quickly and so I'm excited to see where that goes but another one is that I think it's called everywhere game or everything game or no it's everywhere game yeah that everywhere game where it, I don't know much about it but it looks interesting um, and it's, 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 I don't know, we don't know much about it, but you know, uh, like you get to like, you know, make your own stuff and all that. I don't know. We don't know much about it, but I just like the ideas of more games getting involved with UGC just because, you know, user generated content is what kind of ex extends the life of a lot of games, you know, Halo itself, you know, coming from a Halo background. It, it, all games like Reach and even Halo 3 and including all the you know more modern games uh, like Halo 4 and uh, MCC and then which MCC isn't modern but you know the collection is uh, but then Halo 5 and stuff Forge bring, like it brings new life into the game after a little bit like you can put some maps into matchmaking um, you know you can have fun playing with customs with friends and everything like that uh, so it does breathe new life into the game itself and it kind of extends the life of the game you know because if you go back and play reach most likely you're not going to go back and play normal multiplayer most likely you're going to go back and play the you know custom games which I know a lot of people still play the normal multiplayer but I'm just like you know you have a lot of great memories uh, with all these older games like Halo 3 with, you know, uh, some fun custom games, you know, like uh, Trash Compactor or Jenga or something like that. Like, you have a lot of great memories with that type of stuff. Uh, so, I'm just excited about the future of UGC and everything. It's great seeing stuff. Now, who knows if all these things will be good because another game like Dirt 5 did have a editor where you could create your own racetracks but it was unbelievably limiting like you couldn't even phase objects together and there was a glitch that actually allowed you to phase objects together but unfortunately they fixed that glitch where you can no longer phase, uh, phase objects together and so it kind of broke a lot of the maps that I was working on because uh, I needed to be able to phase and so basically I bet you barely anyone used uh, Dirt 5's editor because it's extremely limiting like it, they didn't give you the tools to really just kind of create what you want 
uh, they limited you, uh, it's, it's similar to kind of like Halo 3 in a way, like it was very limiting on what you can create, and the difference is Bungie did not uh, fix the ghost merging, you know, type of way of, you know, merging something. They didn't go in there and fix that afterwards. Uh, if they would have done that, that would have broken so many custom games, uh, and it would have pretty much killed off Forge, I think, in Halo 3 if they would have, you know, fixed that type of thing. So, uh, but yeah, overall, like, I just wanted to talk just, you know, there's a lot of games that are coming out. Uh, I believe Call of Duty, the one that's coming up, um, is rumored or it's confirmed I don't know to have some sort of editor but I think it's a pretty basic editor um, like something reminiscent of Halo 3 where it's just kind of you could put a few objects out you know change weapon placement stuff like that nothing too crazy but it's a start and that's what I'm excited about I think they may see the potential of oh hey maybe we should go a little more into this because I think Call of Duty would be pretty awesome if they have a you know very powerful editor um, inside their games, uh, you know, so people, I know people are going to mention, well, COD does have a thing, you know, they did have a thing on PC. I'm talking about like console, like an in-game editor, uh, and stuff, uh, like how Halo's Forge is in-game and stuff like that. So, uh, but overall, like I'm, I'm just really excited about the future of it with, you know, especially Halo Infinite and then whatever this creative 2.0 is going to be, uh, for Fortnite, cause it's supposed to be super powerful, at least the stuff that we've heard. Um, so I'm pretty excited about all that type of stuff. So, okay, I'll go ahead and stop rambling about UGC stuff. I could talk about this all day. Uh, but thank you everyone for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't worry, we have a Halo uh, map feature video coming up tomorrow. So stay tuned for that one. It's a pretty incredible map. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, you know, and then of course we got more videos coming out next week. I do not normally upload on weekends. In case if anyone doesn't know that, uh, that time is spent, you know, spending time with family. Uh, I don't normally stream or do any type of uploads, which talking about streaming, I am slowing down because there are a lot of things going on in the uh, behind the scenes that I need to focus a lot more on. And so I had to cut something uh, down some and I didn't want to cut YouTube videos down. So I went ahead and cut down some streaming uh, so I could focus on some of the behind the scenes stuff. You can see I'll link to a tweet if you want to read more about uh, that whole thing there. So thank you everyone for coming out. Appreciate it. This was a blast. Uh, talking about all this type of stuff and I will see y'all in the next video tomorrow and remember uh, I guess you I wouldn't say forge a new halo because this isn't a halo video uh, uh, create a new map <laughs> I don't know what to say but all right thanks everyone for watching